Tell you one thing, you're just be, we just got lucky by ourselves, there ain't nothing here. That's what I just said. It's going yeah. to be good. Either they moved that. out yesterday or yeah. there's still some hanging around. Yeah. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? We are live here at the bottoms yet again yep we are here at the bottoms you guys have seen a video or two a while back it's been a little bit since i've been here at the bottoms with mike and larry we're with larry and mike we're with flair we got flair with us so this is flair's first time to the bottoms we're going to uh try to whack him today there's supposed to be a lot of birds here high numbers we called and uh listened to the report and uh they got they got a bunch of birds here so it's about 25 degrees out it's about 5:45 in the morning, uh, so we're gonna get everything ready and try to get after them. Sit sail. Okay. As long as we don't get any white caps, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've almost tipped this thing over once. I don't want to try it again. Oh, did you? Yeah, Bo and I was in here. We we're back at two, and I went to make my turn toward the boat dock. Yeah. Boat went to the left, way up. The boat went, let's see, no, it went, went this way, went to the right. Right. The boat wouldn't have been standing over here and all the decoys over here. We just tipped it over. Oh, man, that, that would be scary in the cold. Ooh. I had my ass puckered for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. Since we're the only ones out here, let's just kind of find the best place we can for the conditions we have. That wind's really going to screw us, I think. Yeah, that wind's going to change like four different directions in two hours. Ready to take a nap. Yeah, he is. Alright, guys, we are done sitting up. I'll show you guys the decoy spread here in just a bit. It is dark. I got the GoPro on. So, uh, we're going to get after it, guys. Yep. There we go, baby. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Look at these. Look at these ducks. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Two on the left coming in. Drakes with one hand. Shoot. Got that bitch. Got him. As you can tell, the wind has picked up like we anticipated, so all the shooting is going to be a side, a side shooting, you know, so. But I know you guys really like the tips when I give you guys tips when I show you the spread. So what we got going on here, we only got about three dozen floater ducks out. We got a big group here, one mojo on this side with a squirter. We got a big hole, little confidence decoy in the middle family group of three geese, another family group of three goose floaters, and then about another dozen over on the right side. Big hole in the middle. This uh, real choppy water, high wind, give them a big hole somewhere to sit down. So it's, it's, it's working. Here they come, here they come. Get ready, get, get ready. Shoot them. Shoot him in the water again. Yeah. Boom, boom. I'm out of shells. Out of shells. Alright, I need one more bird here. We got two coming. Nope. Well, they didn't like something. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. Get ready, you're going to have to spin to your right. Take him. Oh. I want to walk back here. Out of gas. He's pulling us in. <laughs> Flare your <it>. in. <laughs> He's exercise. 
Oh, put her into overdrive. Put her into low gear. Get it done. I don't think they fired a shot, did they? Not yet. I didn't hear any. Come on. Inside. Inside, puppies. Hi, Jackson. Well, what's up, guys? I know I didn't end the video at the bottoms like I usually do. I wanted to switch it up a little bit and end the video here at home. Oh, but we're here back at the house. It's been a little while since uh, since this hunt. This was a hunt that I knew was was a short hunt. It wasn't a really good, you know, just banger hunt. So I put it in the old Bobby Guy Films library and pulled it out for you guys now. Oh, but to be completely honest, I have been sick for the last two days. It is a struggle for me to even edit this video and stare at my computer this long. I don't know if I have a little bit of the flu or what's going on, but I'm telling you what, it is kicking my butt. But I know I've been bringing you guys just some awesome hunts, and, and I know you guys really enjoy them. I love the awesome hunts, but in reality, like you guys know, every hunt isn't going to be a banger. Every hunt, you're not going to limit out. Every hunt, you're not going to have a pile of birds. So I wanted to show you guys that. I don't do just awesome hunts all the time. I, I wish it was all the time, but uh, some of the videos I have saved maybe aren't as long or as good as hunts so you guys will be seeing those coming up here especially when I'm sick because I cannot go out hunting right now I've been bedridden all day yesterday and half of today this is the first day I've actually got out of bed so but a lot of you guys are always commenting Bobby how do you have such good hunts all the time blah blah, blah. well I don't have great hunts all the time but even the crappy hunts I want to make as entertaining as possible and let you guys see that I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be no professional. I'm still out here doing the same type of hunting that you guys are. We get skunked. Sometimes we don't shoot any. Sometimes we shoot very few. Sometimes we pile them up. But I want to provide every video I can for you guys just to let you see that I'm not out here doing any better than you guys are. I'm not doing anything different than you guys are. I still have crappy, junky hunts. But really, what is a crappy hunt? What's a junky hunt? Any hunt to me, uh, if you're out on the water, in the field, and you're able to get out, of, get out of your office, get away from the workplace for a little bit, and get out hunting, is a successful hunt to me. I know a lot of you guys feel the exact same way. Any bad hunt is better than a day at work. But that is what duck and goose hunting is all about. It's kind of like fishing. Sometimes you go out and you slay them and just whack them. Sometimes you don't do very good, but you still have to understand that you're going to have your good days and you're going to have your bad days. I mean, it is called hunting, not killing. Oh, but all of you that took advantage of the Black Friday sales all weekend long, kudos to you because you guys got one heck of a deal over at Ducks Waterfowl. Com. We have been trying to do every discount possible, every sell possible for you guys during this Black Friday holiday weekend. And let me tell you guys what, you guys took advantage of it and I want to say thank you. I say thank you because every purchase that you guys made goes directly to helping me. Most of my Avid viewers know that I lost my job about two months ago. And I told you guys that I was going to go full time on YouTube. And you guys have showed so much support by going and getting something ducks related that I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are literally supporting me out here and allowing me to do this. But I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for buying ducks gear. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. The Bobby Guy Films community out here is extremely legit and I truly, truly thank you guys. I know I've gotten all tender and my sobby story, you know, I know I've said it, but when you take a grown man who's worked a 40-hour job his whole life and then you give him an opportunity to do something like this, it is truly the biggest blessing I have ever encountered except for my wife and my kids. You guys are truly, truly amazing. 
I don't know, man. It's just so surreal to me. I went from clocking in uh, a job 40 hours a week plus to planning a hunt and filming that hunt to provide to you guys as a job. And I'm telling you what, that right there, it, it's shocking. I can't even, I can't even find the words to describe how grateful I am for that. Oh, but it's even hard for me to find my words today. My brain is running extremely slow. I've been sick for two days, like I said. So I'm gonna try to wrap it up here, guys. If you guys like these little hunts like this, I know this wasn't a banger, a huge hunt, please hit that like button, please. And if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. We're gonna have a bunch more hunting coming your way for you guys to enjoy. So smash the subscribe button. We're not going anywhere. We're gonna go harder and better the rest of the season. I'm telling you what, there's gonna be some downright amazing hunting coming your way. But if you are a new viewer or subscriber and you haven't went over to DucksWaterfowl.com, we have beanies, we have regular hats, we have hoodies, a ton of new designs. Literally, we're coming out with a new design one a week pretty much. So head on over there. I will link the website in the description below. So go check it all out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's not tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my